Hey guys, today's video is about how to create an isometric 3D letter in Affinity Designer like the one you see right here. And we're using Affinity Designer version 2 for this and starting with a new clean document. And the first thing we have to do is to navigate to the artistic text tool right here and type in the letter we want to transform. So in our case, an um, A, a big A. And now select your letter and use a font you like the most, you want your letter to be in. But keep in mind that this effect works best with bold fonts. So I'm going to go with Krona 1 in this case. And now we are selecting the move tool, navigating to the snapping icon and make sure to have the settings I have. So you have the exact, exact snapping later on and enable snapping. And after that, navigate to window right here and click on isometric. You now have an isometric field. You can move it next to the layers field like this and, um, and drop it there and then click on modify grid go to preset this one is a metric and click on close and now click on the letter a or your letter you've written and click on fit a top and fit to plane so we have it like this you can now move it somewhere you want to work with click on layers again now duplicate this one by holding down command c and then command v um, if you're a Windows user, simply use control instead of command. And now we can change the color to a gray tone. So it's better visible and make it underneath our first letter. And now hold down shift and move it down. So um, as, um, as thick you want the isometric letter to be. So uh, in our case, I think we're going with this one. And what we have to do now, we have to click on the move tool. Um, select both letters and click on right here convert to curves and now we're going with our pen tool right here or clicking p on our keyboard and selecting all of the um, fields we need so first one is this rectangle like this this and this we can um, make the stroke invisible and give a um, color colored fill so we see that we already done this one then navigate to the next one again with our pen tool. Make sure to not complete um, this rectangle so that you have it as a separate one. And again, move um, above the edges. So this like that and close and color again so that we see we finish this one as well. Now the next one is a little bit more tricky. So you have to think a little bit three dimensional for this, like this, this, and this right here, and also fill. And our next side is this rectangle going here, here, here. Sometimes we have to select again because snapping is, um, um is not finding all the points so we're gonna delete this click on our curve again click on our top curve again and now select the pen tool again so hopefully we can now snap to the edge yes we can and here and here fill again and now our last two um, um rectangles we need to create so this one right here and also filling again and also this one in the middle right here from here to here like i said you have to think a little bit three-dimensional for this and snapping here 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 and here and here and now we have all of our necessary um, rectangles we can now um, go with the color we want to use and we should use a gradient because that makes it look way better and so we're selecting just one rectangle to start with going to our gradient tool we find right here or simply press g on your um, um, keyboard select it select one at uh, the bottom line and move to the top side we can now um, change the um, um, gradient reverse because you want the dark side to be at the bottom and the brighter side at the top. And now click on this um, little icon right here, click on the dark or the bright color, for example, click on 
color double click and go with you for example and then you can choose the color you want you could also go with, with rgb sliders um, hex code to insert the hex code of the color you want we are going with you in this case and selecting maybe something like this we can then go to um, the hex sliders to copy the hex code and to our darker side to paste the hex code um, enter and then go to you to make it a little bit darker so to the bottom maybe like this looks good i think maybe a little bit more like this and what we can do now is select all of the other um, rectangles and this one for example and simply go to recent to um, insert your gradient and then make sure to have the dark from the bottom to the top um, also make sure that it is a little bit like this so we have the um, the corners here um, better visible also with this one recent now dark to bright to the top and um, sometimes you have to readjust um, some corners if um, snapping didn't go um, went as planned but that's up to you how perfect you want it to be and again go with recent from here to here and this one also recent and again from here to here and we have to do the same with this one with our recent and then we can again go from dark to bright and now we need to select our top layer which is this um, a curve right here we can go to our um, gradient again click here click on our brighter color double uh, one click and um, go to the hex code copy the hex code with command c and paste it with command v to our top line Control c Control v if you're a windows user we are going here and we are filling with this one command v and enter and making a little bit um, brighter again maybe like this but that's up to you how you want it to be i like it that way i think you can choose any um, gradient and colors you want to of course so the next step is to select the um, help curve for the um, for the bottom part and go to fx so quick fx right here click on outer shadow we're going with um, black and 40 percent and radius maybe 40 50 that's um, up to you now we are going with offset 100 and checking how it looks making the angle to the bottom and I think we're going with 45 here and 120 here or 110 pixels. And we can now click on this one and hold down shift on the top one, click command G to group and make it maybe 95% opacity. And we could also change the background color to this one and make it a little bit darker with our quick FX to have it um, look the best way in my opinion maybe 10 to 20 percent 20 and there we go we are finished with our isometric 3d letter and that's going to do for today's video if you enjoyed watching don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully see you next video and bye